Good morning. Thanks for joining us here at Berkeley City Hall for the announcement of an exciting infrastructure project. Airport Road, the street that you drove down to get here today, is in need of care. Those beside me today would say it needs a lot of care, and I agree. It doesn't take an engineer's eye to determine that it's in bad shape. A short drive down the road is all it takes to say, wow, this road needs work. And that's why we're happy to announce today that we have in hand the funds for the $5.4 million road improvement project. The 1.7 mile stretch runs through Berkeley and Ferguson and connects I-170 to North Florissant Road. More than 22,000 vehicles travel the road every day. It's a convenient route to the airport, to Boeing, and for commuters to jump on the interstate. Airport Road can currently consists of five lanes from I-170 to Fay Drive and of four lanes from Fay Drive to North Florissant Road. When rebuilt, it will be striped to reduce driving lanes to three lanes, one lane in each direction and a shared center turn lane from east of Hanley Road to west of North Florissant Road. Also, a bike lane will be built on each side of Airport Road from East Hanley Road to North Florissant. A buffer lane will be built between the driving lanes and the bike lanes. This project is expected to cost about $5.4 million, of which $2.1 million will be federal funds. And St. Louis County will fund the remainder of the project. These are federal dollars secured before the bipartisan infrastructure bill was signed into law um, in November by President Biden. This will be much more than a repaving project. In addition to dedicated bike lanes, uh, deterior deteriorating sidewalks and curbs will be removed and replaced. New traffic signal signals will be installed and 60 new wheelchair accessible ramps will be built. Construction is expected to begin in the spring and be completed by 2023. This is a critical roadway for North County and the work will make pedestrian and vehicular traffic much safer. And St. Louis County's Department of Transportation currently rates this section of Airport Road a three on a scale of one to 10 with 10 denoting pavement that's in pristine condition. Work on Airport Road is being coordinated with, Mo with MoDOT and its I-270 uh, North construction project. And this coordination will be, minim uh, will be done to minimize uh, traffic restrictions for the area during construction. Years of deferred maintenance uh, in St. Louis County has left the county with a growing list of road projects that need attention but lacked funding. Our transportation department has identified more than $200 million of infrastructure needs in St. Louis County. And we continue seeking funds to rebuild our infrastructure. With a $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure law, we are hopeful we can get more of our road improvement projects started and provide more construction jobs throughout the county. Joining me today is State Representative Rachel Prouty and Berkeley Mayor Babatunde Denbo. And I'd like to ask each one of them to come and say a few words. Mayor? Okay. All right. Good morning. Uh, this is a good day for me today and the, as well as the resident of Berkeley. And I wanted to say that I'm, I'm very straightforward. Uh, this has been long coming. It should have been yesterday. Okay? But I'm really excited. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, actually, I, bought, I mean, I, I'm all the time calling Sam Page. I said, when are you going to fix Airport Road? Okay? I got mad one time when I was on uh, in Ferguson, okay? Because I go shopping over there. But anyway, so I called him. I said, what's going on here? You know, you're fixing, uh, you're taking care of uh, Ferguson. You're not going to take care of Berkeley? But anyway, so we get along. Okay, I know how to play the game. And it is what it is. So my residents are going to be very, very excited. As a matter of fact, I also get phone calls just telling Sam, when the weather is real bad, um, people right here on Airport Road, they bust their tires, their wheels, they say, 
I'm going to bring you a bill. I said, no, give it to Sam. You know, so it is what it is. So at this point, airport road is heavily used. There's no doubt about it. We're very close to 170 in the state. And uh, you come through here, everybody come through here. So, I mean, it's going to be nice. It's going to be very, very nice. And as a matter of fact, that's going to complement our, 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 our it's gonna com complement our planning, and we got a we got a we got a planning for Airport Road. Okay, we got a we got a program in place. We're gonna we're gonna actually have some more retail stores, and also you know uh, sit down restaurant. We got a com well, what I mean is that we got a comprehensive plan in place. I'm gonna impress on that also. So I'm very very excited. It's gonna be good. I'm not gonna say that much, and um, I'm ready to party at this point. You know, thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful morning in Berkeley and in the 73rd District. Um, to echo Mayor um, Diembo's point, this has been a long time coming. I actually grew up um, on the street off Airport Road, so this isn't just helpful to the citizens of Berkeley. It's good for Kenlock, it's good for Ferguson, it's good for the individuals who work at Boeing. Um, as you go to the airport, um, Express Script Cygnus here in Berkeley. Um, we have a fancy new facility for for um, Amazon. And so all of this traffic that's coming here, it's, it's good for safety. And so I could not be more thrilled, I think, uh, the Sam Page administration for prioritizing um, Airport Road. To his point, you know, money is a finite resource. Um, and there are so many streets that are in desperate need of repair. And so to have this done for, for my neighbors and constituent, my mom, my brother, and my nephew who all use Airport Road, live off Airport Road, um, it, it is personal. It's personal because we want to do everything to not just keep the constituents safe, but charity, you know, really our work begins at home first. And so um, I'm just excited. And like the mayor said, I'm ready to, to rock and roll and get started. I'm inclined to come with my own shovel and hard hat. Uh, when they're ready to break ground. So, thank you. Thank you, and uh, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Uh, is for you, Dr. Page, or for anyone of you, and you all alluded to it, what's the biggest impact that the improvements will make for the community here? And how big of a deal will this be? Because folks who might not live in this area might not know about Airport Road. Um, how would you characterize the significance of the well, I think there are two issues. One is it's a terrible road. It's one of the worst roads in the county and it needs to be fixed. And it's uh, uh, dangerous to drive on by design and by the crumbling road. Uh, second, it's going to be much more pedestrian uh, friendly and much more friendly to uh, bicycle traffic and just a better design overall. So there are two issues. It's a terrible road that needs to be fixed and the design will be much, much safer for pedestrian uh, bicycles and cars say something yeah also um, when you look at it um, you know like like the uh, state was saying a lot of people come through here okay and also where I, some of our residents as a matter of fact they park on the street also because they don't have no uh, they don't have no driveway so in respect of fixing this road and especially the uh, I'm glad about the uh, the bicycle lanes or whatever that will cut on the, on the traffic, okay? A lot of people speed on this road. We have a lot of accidents. My chief of police is back there, and uh, the fire chief is back there. Also, it's gonna help when we have the first responder responding to a uh, fire or, or police problem or anything, crime or anything like that, because they, they have to move fast. So, as a matter of fact, the fire chief was telling that someone, because of the road it's so bad, it's tearing up the vehicles, okay? And that's just, that, that's just been up front. So in that respect, fixing this road is going to really help the issue, you know, no doubt. And then parking on the street also, that will help the, my resident also because they're still going to be parking on the streets, you know. So, but that will help in terms of now hitting the cars also, you know. And it will, store, it will slow down traffic also. And then it will actually help with, with accidents or whatever, with people speeding all the time, you know. So, and then with all the other lights that's going to be in place and the pedestrian lights, things like that. So it's going to be a pretty good improvement, no doubt about that. Okay, and like I said, it's going to complement up, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the planning that we're going to do for airport also. You know, because we got it, we got a planning in place that we're going to 
improved on, you know. And then uh, we have some good money in the budget too, so I'm I'm good to go, you know. So, and like I said, it's all about the resident. It's all about the benefit for the uh, workers. Like the state rep said, they use this road a lot, a whole lot, okay. And if I was the mayor uh, in the past two years ago, I've been I've been making all kinds of noise. And, you know, I would never be quiet. It's, you know, it's just about taking care of business. So I'm really excited about the whole thing. Frankly, you know, it's actually reducing lane from the road. Is there a concern that that is going to lead to traffic factors? Well, I th well certainly, um, uh, you know, the lanes have an impact on traffic, but also road design does. And there'll be a center turn lane, which will make it much easier uh, to get to move people off the road and uh, safer for pedestrian and, and bicycle traffic. So I think in the end, the traffic engineers think this will approve, improve traffic flow, even though there is a lane reduction. It'll be much safer to travel. Is there any evidence that it's going to reduce fatalities as well? Well, I, I, I think any time you have safer pede pedestrian traffic, traffic um, fatalities are either vehicular or pedestrian, and pedestrian traffic is going to be much safer and with the center turn lane, this design should be a much safer design for vehicular traffic as well. And who did this design? Uh, design was done by St. Louis County and its uh, engineers. Could you just walk us through uh, how you prioritize fixing roads within the county? You know, I know that you say you do a rating system mm -hmm. to see which ones are the worst, but you know, how do you go and say, okay, well, airport road is where we're going to start, and then what do you say to those? We still have bad roads that are waiting to. Well, the question is, how do we prioritize uh, road repairs in St. Louis County? We have $200 million of unmet maintenance needs in St. Louis County, and uh, we've, we've been uh, backlogged for years and years and years because of money. We just don't have enough money uh, to fix all the roads that need fixing. Um, we're excited about the infrastructure bill because we think that's going to help us get started with a lot of road repairs and a lot of bridge repairs that have been backed up really for over a decade. Um, we prioritize roads in St. Louis County based on a, um, uh, a scale to assess um, the, the damage of the road and then those are prioritized on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, 1 being the worst and 10 being a road that's in pristine condition. Uh, this road has been graded by our traffic department in St. Louis County by our engineers as a 3 which is a very, very bad road. So it's got a high priority. Um, the folks that drive it know it's a bad road, but we also have a system to grade it, and then we're um, making our repairs based on the roads that are the worst in St. Louis County. We have a, a lot of roads that are really bad, and then we have some that are, are worse than bad. So this is an eight-mile stretch of road. What's the plan for the rest of the road? <laughs> Well, we'll look and see what the grade of the rest of the road is, and we'll compare that with everything else in St. Louis County. But this stretch has been identified as one of the worst roads in St. Louis County. Uh, we know that it needs to be, uh, needs to be improved and made safer. Uh, it needs a better design, and with that better design, we know that development along this corridor will follow. And that's what the mayor uh, and uh, State Representative Prouty have been talking about, is this is an opportunity for economic development along the road which will improve the tax base and bring more revenue for the schools and the city for their budgets and other improvements in the community. Uh, five of the fatalities from 2017 to 2022 were from police chases, including the police officer who mm -hmm. died. Will this make things safer for them or will it prevent them from having yeah. to chase at all? Uh, so the, so the, the question is about police chase and uh, fatalities are two issues with um, police chase. One is um, the uh, car thefts that are escalating across the country and even here in the St. Louis region. Uh, and uh, the police over the years, especially most recently in the city, uh, in St. Louis City and St. Louis County, have modified their pursuit policies uh, and uh, that we believe that will make um, you know, make uh, stolen cars and cars used in felonies and, and, uh, and uh, intervening in those cases, we think it'll make it safer. Um, it's a very difficult decision for police to know when to chase and when to uh, back off. And that usually depends by their current policy on whether or not 
uh, that car was used in a, in a felony or whether it's a stolen car that hasn't yet been used in a felony. And uh, they have to make those decisions on a case-by-case -case basis, including uh, the traffic that's around. Um, the design of the roadway will contribute to um, fatalities around police chases, but really a police chase is about the policy and the crime of the person who is being chased and the, and the violence surrounding that crime. It's a very difficult decision when to chase a violent criminal and when to step back and, and uh, try to catch up with that person in a, in a safer environment. Very difficult question. Any other questions? Sorry, which, uh, where is the federal money coming from? What department, is it, did you say it was, it's not the energy infrastructure money? It's no, yeah, the question is where the federal money com comes from. This is money that was, concern, co that was uh, um, obtained uh, prior to the infrastructure bill uh, President Biden's infrastructure bill being passed a year ago. This money uh, came to the county before then uh, for us to use in road projects that we pr uh, prioritized and to be matched with local funds that are available through uh, a local uh, road tax. We have about thirty million. We have about thirty million dollars a year to um, available for roads in St. Louis County that we use to match with available federal funds. Dr. Page, it's the Surface Transportation Program. If anyone wants the details of that program, administered through East West Gateway. Okay. Yeah, so um, this is federal money that we access um, through the East West Gateway's process of distributing funds in the region. Um, uh, Doug tells me it's called the Surface Transportation Program. I, I'm not always familiar with the details, but we can certainly get you more if you want in the proper nomenclature for where this money came from. You guys are both from the community here, you live here, you know the area, you alluded to earlier, but what, just what are the emotions today with getting something like this done um, that clearly is overdue? Rachel? So I always say the remedy to an underserved community is to serve it, right? Um, they don't have to remain underserved. So we do what we are supposed to do and what frankly, my neighbors and constituents are entitled to. This was absolutely long overdue. So when we first started putting the plans out or posting pictures of the plans or talking about the plans, as Dr. Pay said, you know, well over a year ago, um, the response that I got from folks is, it's about time. I remember canvassing this area um, in 2018, and one of the major things they said, though not necessarily a state issue, was what are we gonna do about these streets? Um, Airport Road is Berkeley's main street. Um, another issue that we have um, and for those of us who live in the area we tend to tune it out but we hear those airplanes coming and going um, I'm, I have the unique privilege too of being the state representative for Kenlock where airplanes fly over you can see the trash from 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 space right you can see the rickety roads and the dips and dents in the roads from space the first area that a lot of individuals who are flying into our state see so it's more you know, than just, oh, we're fixing it so it can be a comfortable, smooth ride. It's a sense of community pride. Um, we live here, um, to, to Mayor D'Ambo's point, when businesses are looking for locations, and this is a prime location, it's right by the highway exit. No one wants to set up shop where the street looks like this. We have this beautiful city hall, the beautiful fire station, and, and beautiful shiny trucks. Berkeley provides its own ambulance service. Um, all of this stuff is fantastic, but we have to operate these things under these conditions. And so it, it really moves that community pride forward. It makes them want to pick up and not throw trash in the streets. Um, you asked about uh, traffic backup. You know what backs up traffic? Car accidents. Um, and so if we could slow it down a little bit, you know, bring that sense of community pride um, by showing that, that you know, their elected officials or their government um, hears them, cares about them, and we're willing to put literally our money where our mouth is, um, I think that is, is what the residents need to see is, a, is one thing to be, um, and I, I get this too, you know, we have a lot of registered voters that don't vote and don't participate. It's not because sometimes they're being disenfranchised, but sometimes it's disenchantment. So if they don't see their government working for them, they won't participate. And I think for our, our constituents, um, them seeing us out here and being serious about hearing them and meeting their needs is, is what's beneficial to our community right now. If I can add on, yeah, if I can add on, I mean, when you look at it, priority is very important. You have to prioritize for the resident. I live here, okay? I want the best for my community. 
If I tell you how much I make being the mayor of Berkeley, you'd be surprised, $175 a month. That is no money, okay? And I'm not moving out. So this is very important to me, it's important to my resident. I'm telling you, um, I get a little emotional sometimes when I think about where I live. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of senior citizens here. We got young people here. I used to be an educator. I used to be an assistant principal at Southern. I work hard. When you work hard, you play hard. I'll give anything to my, to my community. I'm not moving out. My wife wants to move out. I said, I'm not going away. You run, you can, you can, anywhere you go, there's problem. Fix the problem. But you got to prioritize. And that's what Sam is doing today. I'm glad this infrastructure bill that was passed in uh, at the state, Thank God. Because it's been long overdue. Some of these bridges, you know, you see it on TV, they're falling down. You know, people getting killed. But this is what I'm saying. This is very, very exciting to me. And Airport Road, this is, this is downtown Berkeley. You see how it looks? You got good city hall. You just mentioned it. Fire station. It don't look like nothing. I told people, I'm tired of going shopping in Ferguson. I go to Schnooks, I go to all these here. Because my wife said, if you're going to eat, you go shop. And I do. I want some grocery store here. I want a sit-down restaurant. I'm telling you, okay? And it's going to happen. It's going to happen under my watch. So I'm just saying that this has been long coming. I'm so glad about the whole thing. I can't wait. The new city manager, we just hired a new city manager, okay? He's well qualified. And we're going to send the RFP, RFQ out. Effective immediately. We got an old city hall over there. I want to see some malls. We're going to do it. He's going to help me out. She's going to help me out. Okay, you're going to help me out. <laughs> so I'm very excited about this. Okay, I could go live in Baldwin or Chesterfield. I got it like that. But I'm not going there. I'm going to stay right here and fix it. I love my people here. Senior citizen, I'm working hard. I get all the phone calls. I take care of this along with those gentlemen over there. So. This is going to be good. I appreciate it. <laughs> Any other questions? That's good. Thank okay, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm excited. I feel pumped up. Thank you. Welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, let's. All right. Yes. Take care.